Lately, everywhere, things have been up in the air. It's been difficult to see what the future holds. But even during days like these, if we actually go up in the air, we can get a glimpse of how the future is still unfolding at the Greensboro Science Center. Take a few minutes to imagine. Come, fly with me. The new outdoor area for our Komodo dragon is nearing completion, where soon this largest lizard will be sunning himself as though he were at home on his native Indonesian island, or maybe looking like some prehistoric holdover from the age when reptiles ruled. Within Revolution Ridge, where construction is just now underway, an even more direct descendant of dinosaurs will one day inhabit the first exhibit you'll come to. Cassowaries are like feathered Jurassic Park raptors whose slashing claws earn them the title of world's most dangerous bird and who, thankfully, unlike our drone, cannot fly at all. Next door, homes are taking shape for a couple of more docile and adorable Revolution Ridge residents native to Africa. Our okapis will resemble their much taller cousins, the giraffes, but with zebra-like racing stripes banding their legs. And our pygmy hippos will be as huge in public appeal as they are small in scale as they swim in their pool, bask in the sun, or wallow in the mud, and just generally delight all onlookers. At the base of Revolution Ridge, our gleaming new animal hospital will be combined with an inspiring conservation center because our local commitment to the health of our zoo residents is cut from the same cloth as our global commitment to the health of the world and to the flourishing of their extended families in the wild. Where only dirt and gravel stand now, we dream of flocks of feathers the color of flame, each individual standing on a single stick-straight leg. Our imaginations are ignited, soaring with anticipation for flamingos. Our tigers will be joined by other feline family members in Revolution Ridge. Our small cat complex will be home to their more diminutive cousins from Africa, like black-footed cats, sand cats, and servals, as well as welcoming our beloved Southern Asian fishing cats. Also getting a new home, with room to roam as never before, will be our red pandas, Tai and Usha. They'll be able to feed on bamboo, freely moving among the trees with an ease unrivaled by red panda zoo residents anywhere else. Traveling through transparent tunnels, Usha and Tai will traverse the space above our heads. And when we look to see them there, up in the air, we'll know our present plans have landed. Touching down in a tomorrow that will make all of today's working and waiting so very much worth it.